Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Auto 5. Today we are back with our real life mod series and we're going to be doing some work with our tow company, Ace Towing and Recovery. So right now we have our heavy wrecker, heavy number four out. This is the Kenworth T440. We haven't used this truck in a while. I know some of you guys was asking me to use it. So here we have it and let's go ahead and get started with today's job. So we actually got to pick up a dump truck but the catch is it's actually inside of like a construction tunnel so we're gonna have to drive this thing and get it into like a, a construction tunnel and then try to pull the, uh, the dump truck out it should be pretty crazy so let's go ahead and get going I'm gonna turn off my lights for now let's hop into first person so you guys can see the inside of this cab here but yeah let me know how you guys are doing down below in the comment section i hope everyone is having a great day and as always thank you so much for coming and checking out today's video i think you're gonna like this one because this is something we never did before and i don't think anybody else ever done it before either so you guys are in for a treat today uh, should actually be right over here somewhere. I'm gonna turn my lights on. I think we're pulling up on scene. Yep, we are here. All right. Oh, there goes the truck right there too. All right, so I see the truck. Now, how the heck am I gonna get my truck in there? I'm gonna have to try to like back it in there somehow. See if I can move these uh, barriers out the way. All right, there's the truck. So we have a couple different options. I could try to winch it out or I could just, I think we have enough space to back it right on in there and get it out. What do you guys think? Should we winch it out or should we just back on up in there? I think we could back up. All right, so let's move these barricades out the way. Slide these over. There we go. And let's try to move this one out the way too. Perfect. Not really, but that should do. All right, so I'm gonna have to try to spin the truck around. I wish I could. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna have to call for Highway Patrol, honest, honestly, and see if they could come out and um, maybe help us out with blocking traffic. And this is gonna be a little bit dangerous for us here on the side of the road, trying to get this thing backed up in the air. So let me make a call and let me see if I can get Highway Patrol out here. Alright guys, so Highway Patrol is now here. I'm going to go ahead and try to back up into the uh, tunnel here. I think this is the most interesting whole pickup we ever had to do here. Literally driving our truck into a tunnel. But this is why you call the best tow company in town, Ace Towing and Recovery. We are here. Oh, this is so crazy. Wow. <laughs> oh, am I getting stuck? Oh, we're getting stuck on the roof a little bit. I'm going to have to put the arm down. So I'm not going to have too much room to lift up the truck in here, actually. Yeah, we're kind of hitting this a little bit. Let me see if I can get it over. If anything, I could probably winch the truck closer to me and then um, tow it out. So I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. Oh man, all right, I'm gonna first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hard hat on because there's a lot of noise going on and I don't want this tunnel to collapse. All right, so we have our hard hat on now, safety first, of course. So what we're gonna do is try to winch the truck backwards or forward to me a little bit, mainly because this beam right here is kind of hitting our truck so we cannot back up anymore. So I already got everything hooked up and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and start the winch here. All right, perfect. Let me just go around on the other side, make sure that we are clear. Uh, just watch it back there, sir. All right, 
that should be good from there. We're gonna go ahead and detach that, and now we're gonna go ahead and put down the arm so that we can attach to the chuck. Alright, looks like we are attached. Let's go ahead and just double check. I right, got the bar down, got it attached. We're gonna make sure we chain all of this down. Safety chains, tie down, or breakaway chains. Go ahead and pull that uh, drive shaft as well. So we don't have any damage there. We'll also put on the tow lights in the back, the wireless light bar, so that way they'll know if we are using our brake lights or turn signals, traffic would be able to know. But it looks like we got everything done and everything ready, guys. So let's go ahead and try to pull this thing out now. Let me just double check our height clearance to make sure that we do not hit anything. And I think we are good, guys. I think we are good. All right, so now the moment you have been waiting for, we're gonna go ahead and try to pull this thing out of this tunnel. Let's do it. We are getting stuck a little bit. I'm going to lower it down a bit. I think it's hitting the, stop, the top of the tunnel. It looks like we're clear, but that's probably like a collision box on top of it. Oh, actually, no, maybe below. I lifted it up, and now we're able to get out. All right, perfect. So we got it out. Uh, CHP still got the road closed for us, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I'm going to lower it down some here. Oh, buddy, we took off all lanes right there. That was crazy, but we are out, guys. We did it. Alright, so let's take a look at this dump truck. So this dump truck is actually a new mod too. It is a Kenworth T800. And the person who made it, I'll link it down below in the video description. Shout out to them because they make a lot of cool trucks. But they made a dump truck version. They made a flatbed version as well as a uh, utility truck version too. And a cement truck mixer too. So I'm thinking about getting some of these Kenworth 800s. They look pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comment section. Whoa! Did he roll over? Yo, that Dodge almost rolled over right there, that Ram. Boy, that would have been crazy. Would have had to get a light duty out to come recover him. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm thinking about getting some of these for our construction companies. So let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. And by the way, guys, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. You guys are always asking for some more towing, and I'm in the wrong lane. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Doing so much talk, I need to do some more driving. Let's jump into first person here. So I'm going to be dropping this off at the construction company yard right up here.
Sorry about all like the loud clunky noises. That's just like the collision of the truck. This um this tow truck, like that actual tow bar that actually has a collision on it. Oh shoot. So it actually can like kind of hit lift up stuff, but um it could go in a higher position too, but when I put it in a higher position, it was just like kind of glitching out more than this, so that's why I, I left it in the lower position. <laughs> Oh boy, it's going a little bit crazy there with the collisions, but that's okay. We're we're almost at our drop-off location anyway. I actually went the wrong way. I was supposed to end up over there. <laughs> I think I got off the highway one exit too early. the heck? I've seen so many cars parked crazy today. Look at this van. Oh, there it goes. It fell down. <laughs> this fence doesn't open. Oh, it's one of those fences. I thought it was the automatic one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and park up the dump truck right over here. And we are done with another successful tow for our customer here. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoy this one. One more time, if you have not already, please go ahead and smash that like button. Also leave a comment so I can give you guys a heart or reply to your comments. I love replying to comments. And also make sure you subscribe if this is your first time watching or if you do like the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to make sure you do not miss any other videos or live streams, hit that notification bell and make sure you hit all. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.